Now the year 2022 saw outstanding stories of enterprising young men and women feature in a weekly news feature, The Young and Industrious, that airs every Thursday on KBC Prime Edition. Tonight, Yusuf Farah takes us down memory lane, highlighting some of the stories that made it to the segment that premiered in January. The year 2022 has seen the stories of outstanding young men and women involved in several entrepreneurial ventures. Feature on Young and Industries, a weekly segment on KBC that focuses on young men and women in business. We traversed several counties to feature the stories of these young men and women who not only paved for themselves but also created employment for others while at it. Today we take a trip down memory lane and bring you some of those stories. Shall we? Let's kick things off with the shoemakers of Kariako in Nairobi County. These are young and industrious men and members of the Jirani Mwema self-help group who decided to venture into the leather shoemaking industry. Since inception, the shoemakers of Kariako have witnessed tremendous growth and realized profits. Their efforts are slowly changing the narrative associated with youth, especially from informal settlements. Yes, but at the end of the day, in future in Kajado County, meet Esther Kujuang, who quit formal employment to kick off her entrepreneurial journey. With a seed capital of 9,000 shillings, she invested in the honey processing business. Seven years later, her cottage industry has grown by leaps and bounds. Seasonality of honey, because I was selling honey every single day, uh, but honey is seasonal. So at, uh, I would get shocked that I have orders for honey, and I don't have honey. <laughs> This has helped me save up some money, which I would like to maybe do other things, like put into content creation, or also maybe another business venture. The Forbes Africa Top 30 and the 30s a coveted list that any young entrepreneur will be elated and delighted to be a part of. Dr. Johan Riguru Kimani, who has taken advantage of the digital space and started a blog about children in parenting, has found herself in this list. Johan looks forward to working with the World Health Organization one day. I'm also looking to getting into conferences and also learning platforms with other bloggers in different niches and to also learn about what they're doing. For the the young girls in secondary schools, the young girl in primary schools, they too can watch her and see that the sky is the limit. Art is a form of expression but can also be used to generate income in a big way. In the thick of COVID-19 pandemic, 21-year-old Duncan Shea got laid off from his job as a chef. This aroused his artistic instincts and passion and he ventured into a unique form of art, corrugated artwork. The art, because it's a completely new form of art, so on a daily basis I learn something new out of it and uh, I think that's my drive, just bringing the most out of myself. Sharon Owende from Kiembu County founded the Epica Jewelry Enterprise in the year 2015, which seeks to adorn people with a touch of African print. Her pieces have over the years evolved to be of high demand across the Kenyan borders to feature internationally. Within the last two years, I've been doing a lot of entrepreneurship programs just to basically improve my business skills because I'm still small and I'm growing. I've helped my family and because it's it's been consistent. I'm hoping like we'll get to a place where people are actually buying stuff off the runway here. That would be like a great place to be so that even when you're doing fashion shows, you know you're doing it and the turnover will make sense. You definitely want to get into clothing, but clothing that's incorporated with beadwork. So that's something we're looking to try and sort of grow into. 
We end at the year 2022 highlights with a shock sunny, a high fashion mid to major suit designer who tailor makes suits for clients for work, weddings, events and casual appearances. A shock sunny started in 2013 and years later, a shock sunny tailor limited has over 13 employees and profits that have sustained his and his workforce's needs. We're building a brand that will last longer than me myself. We're building a brand that my children and grandchildren can benefit from. Well, that's all we had for you for the young and industrious segment on the stories that made it in at the year 2022. We do hope you enjoyed. As we break for the holidays, we can only promise you one thing. Next year, we come back bigger and better. My name is Yusuf Farah. This has been Young and Industrious. I'll catch you next year.